What's up, you beautiful souls? So I'm driving in the snow right now. It's actually really beautiful, but um, I want to channel in some uh, words of wisdom and ancient knowledge and speak from my heart and my soul and share with with whoever seeks to find uh, the truth within thyself. So know that uh, you can become your best version of yourself. You can be love. You can be happiness. Actually, you are happiness. You are joy. You are love. You are faith. You are hope. You are a beautiful star. You are your destiny. You are harmony. You are patience. You are grace. We are grace. We are love. We are patience. We are joy. We are happiness. We are fearful. We are intelligent. We are creative. We are all one. Inside of the one of love, we are light. We are darkness too. We are balance between both. We are the balance. And we share that between all of us as being the balance together, coming together and making a difference in the world and not letting society and material objects on the outside distract you from who your true essence is. We let our egos get a hold of us and they take control and we lose control of our life and we're not even driving the wheel anymore. We're letting these material objects take over us and we're not even in our vehicle anymore. Our temple's even lost. We must go back and seek within to find the true essence that's been inside of us the whole time. Love is who we are. Faith is what we have. Believing is what we're made for. We're here to create abundance for everyone and everyone shall always live in abundance. The animals, the trees, the sky, the people, the places, the emotions, the love, the joy, the sadness, all of that. We bring it together in balance, understanding each and one of us that we all come from a different place and time, but we're all from the same place that created that place and time. We are stars. We are universes, we are galaxies, we are dust particles, we are the roots of the trees, we are the grass that grows on Mother Earth. I am you and you are me. We are here forever to be sacred as one with all. As many can seek to find, shall they seek to find the truth, the truth that lies within, must know and never guess, never guess, because you must know the truth, it lies within. Always question things on the outside. Don't listen to anything, but listen to all. Hear, keep the mouth closed and listen. Listen to the wisdom of all. Understand other people's thoughts. Observe how people act. Let the earth be your teacher, and the earth shall guide you. Sorry, I'm turning. <laughs> oh, I got deep into that one. Wow, that felt good. Um, yeah, like, the earth is a beautiful place, and, you know, I've accepted that there's a lot of destruction and suffering and pain in the world, but first step to making a change is making a change in yourself, accepting how the world is right now and being okay with it and look at it as as beautiful as, as ever. It is. It's so beautiful. And when you make those first personal choices about how you view yourself and others and how you feel to you should be you should teach yourself to be formless. You are formless. I am formless. Bondage to nothing live forever in eternity 
of love and abundance. We are here just to evolve and grow spiritually, to understand ourselves, and to have a beautiful life here, and not get obsessed with having all these new cars and having all this money and don't get obsessed we're here to enjoy those things absolutely the cars the clothes it's all fun and games until you you think it's actually real once you think it's real it's over for you because that's all you live for and then you lose yourself in the game that they call life This game that they call life, it's an illusion. Nothing's real here. But if we know how to prop, if we know ourselves, we can live this game in abundance, all together, connected. Where power doesn't rule, but love is who we are. Love is being. And being is love. And if this whole planet was just being, love would be the only thing here. Now we have to understand, light comes out of darkness. Darkness doesn't come out of light. Light comes out of darkness. And that's something we have to understand. The darkness is always a part of us. And that's when you go deep within your soul and you look at the darkness that hides inside of you. And you go in there and you observe it. It's gonna scare you at first. You're gonna feel those emotions. Emotions that you don't wanna feel. That's why they're hidden in there. We've been taught to hide our emotions deep within. Deep, so deep, we don't even remember half the ones in there. Go within your soul to know that you're searching, you're seeking to find that darkness and observe it and become one with it. Once you do that, understanding that, you dive out and you've accepted the darkness, and it leaves for eternity. It fades away because you understand it. You're not scared of it. Fear is what keeps us trapped. Trapped in bondage of the mind, trapped in bondage of this matrix stimulation that they got us in this game on Earth. Once you step out of your boundaries, and you're gonna feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is just, you get used to it. But every time you get uncomfortable with situations, you start releasing the bondage that's been held inside of you. This is the way to learn and to become strong, and to be heroes, and angels, and warriors, and love, and enjoy, and live in pure harmony, and not polluting the world, and not polluting the water, and the soil, and growing all these GMO crops, and all this agriculture, all this corn everywhere just to feed the cattle that are being tortured, and the pigs that are being tortured, For us to eat it? No. We have fruits and vegetables. We have love. Back in, way back in the day, tribes went out and made it sacred when they killed an animal. We now just abuse everything, abuse eating, abusing animals, abusing abusing money, cars, clothes, we abuse everything. It's consume, consume, consume. That's not how it's supposed to be. We've lost control of ourselves. But the beauty of it 
is that you now you can take control of your life and be aware. Be aware of who you are. Be aware of your thoughts. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your true light within you. Be aware that you can change your life in any moment, in any time, in any second of any single day in the whole entire universal world. We are magic. We are the magicians. Nature is within us. And that's what creates the magician throughout everything. Because nature is a part of us. We are a part of nature. Just take one step at a time. Trust yourself. Know that you already are being pure light and love. You are the truth. The truth is inside of you. Everyone is the truth. It's just if they seek to go within, to find, to search, to understand, to observe, to feel, to live again, and know, to step free, to release, to understand every part of who you are, so you can master yourself and grow. share and help and guide with grace and purity and joy. Alright, I love y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed that.